<laughs> yeah, well, I, I grew up Catholic. I, I guess the hard. Yeah, I know, I know. You grew up Catholic. This is why you have 10,000 tattoo over your body. Yeah, brother, yeah. You are very Catholic. Do you, do you, do you have the map of Andrew Tate's house on your uh, body? I mean, I can tell you are very Catholic. And girls, women, drinking, hashish, smoking. You're, uh, he grew up Catholic, brother. Actually, I heard he used to be a Catholic nun before, but in the last moment, he changed his mind. He wanted to be Muhammad. Tell us more. There's a lot of division there, but you know that in the Quran, they talk more about Jesus than Muhammad. Where? Guys, in the Quran, they talk more about Jesus than Muhammad. I want to ask this potato how in the world that is true. How in the world that is true when all the Quran is about Muhammad? All of it. I mean, stupidity is amazing. In the Quran, they speak about Jesus more than Muhammad. Since when? Everything in this stupid book is about Muhammad. If we open now any chapter in this stupid, by the way, the Muslim, they start calling their Quran chapters and verses, trying to copy the Christian Bible. Otherwise, the savage Bedouin Muhammad, and he do not even know how to write his name. And the Muslims after him do not even know what books is. What books? There's no books. If we open any, place in the Quran, we will see that the Quran is speaking about Jesus so little. And what the Quran speak about Jesus is very funny and very dummy. And you must be a donkey to believe in it. As an example, the Quran says that the one who created Jesus is who? Is Jibreel, according to Muslims. And they call him the Holy Spirit. And actually I saw in his video, he says, who the, you know, I would just quote him. He insulted the Holy Spirit. His guy is going directly to hell. Not only he became a Muslim, and he is obviously a trashy person, he insulted the Holy Spirit. He said, what the hell is the Holy Spirit? According to the stupid Quran, you donkey, the Holy Spirit is there. But because he never heard of the Holy Spirit before, he's a donkey. So he converted to Islam, what? He will tell us. He was in Dubai. They told him, say Shahada, it's easy. Man, he said Shahada. Jesus is... is uh, is brought up all the time. Where, where, all the time, guys. Jesus is brought all the time, all the time. <laughs> none is stop, none is stop. Every page in the Quran, Jesus is there. You stupid donkey. Even the crucifixion of Jesus is mentioned in one line. It says they did not kill him. Allah, he made someone appear like him. That's it. Can you show me how many quotation of Jesus in the Quran? We will die laughing. In fact, Allah, he caught the ant, the ant, a billion times more than what Jesus said. He asked Jesus, did you say to them, worship me and my mom? The Christian worship his mom, you donkey. Since when? And he said, clearly, did you say to your people to worship me and my mother as God? And Jesus said to him, you stupid Allah. How you accuse me of something and you know what I did and what I said what I said and what I said not. The question is very silly. Allah is asking him, did you Jesus come here? Jesus, did you say that to the people? Jesus says to him, You're an idiot. If you are Allah, don't you know what I said and what I said not? Why are you asking me? Hmm. So this is lie number two. The Quran speak about Jesus more than Muhammad. When the whole Quran, you know what? I'm going to do this. Maybe he is, you know, like if a Muslim, he would say to you, well, the, the name of Muhammad did not mention him any time. Who care the name? The whole Quran is about Muhammad. About Muhammad, about the penis of Muhammad, about the testicles of Muhammad, about the women of Muhammad. 
just to show you how the Quran did not talk about Muhammad, you know, the Quran talk only about Jesus, you know, more, you know, like, here we go. Muhammad once, he, his wife, she found him effing his sleeve. Excuse my language. Hmm? Chin. The slave, her legs is giving, is up. Giving the sign of victory. I mean, I don't know what I will quote for you. Oh, the Quran is so stupid. You know? <laughs> uh, listen. All the Quran is speaking too much about Jesus, but all of all what we see, all we see is in front of us is about Muhammad. But I find one of the most funny things is when Muhammad, he you know like uh, uh, he have an issue with his wives. As an example, when his wives, two of them, they have a strike against Muhammad because Muhammad was not just. Muhammad was a very bad person with his wives. And yet he cannot have sex with them. When Muhammad could not control his household, this is what kind of a man he is, he threatened his wives, if you don't obey me, Allah and his angels, and every single Muslim, including Cinco now, we can add Cinco, you know, he will sink around. And every single believer and every righteous and every angel in the heaven are going to go and attack you. This is the religion you converted to. Do we have any Muslim? This is from God. The whole Quran is about Muhammad. Look, the holy chapter at Tahrim is about Muhammad. He forbid himself from ifin a slave women after they got him busted. And then in verse number one, it says, Allah told him, why, why, Muhammad? Why you forbid what Allah made law for, for you? Allah made law for, for him to have the slave? Where? In the Quran, it says, you can rape a slave if she is captured from war. Nowhere else, it says, that he can rape a woman, she is a gift. Muhammad used to receive gifts from Amazon. He received gifts and boxes are human. Human. And this was a story of Mary the Coptic, who she is not Coptic even. And then when Muhammad, after he forbid himself because the wives get him busted and they threaten him that they will tell everybody about what he did and then he promised his wife if you don't tell, I'm going to make your father a caliphate after me. And then when Muhammad, he missed having sex with this woman who is so beautiful and blonde. That's why I say she has nothing to do with the Coptic. He came with this verse and he's saying, Allah told him, why you forbid yourself what Allah made lawful for you? And I challenge any Muslim to show me where Allah made lawful for him to have sex with a servant woman. This is religion. Servant, servant. The Quran says you can have only, you can rape only women who they are your captive. And then after Muhammad, look at this. This is God. God is talking. And when the Prophet confided 
to one of his wives a certain matter and then when she told it and God disclosed that to him he made it made him no part of it and turned aside from port look what the heck actually this translation is kind of funny who is this translator this guy is 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 is, is cutting the story all around shorter look look at this and remember brother when the prophet saw shortwave fm station disclosed the matter of confidence to one of his wives between two bracket hapsa and so when she told the other wife i e aisha <laughs> and then allah made it known to him look what the heck what, what, what? he informed part therefore and left the port this is Quran, and the Quran talk about Jesus more than talking about, all of this is about the wives of Muhammad. The verse after it, the verse after it, the verse after it, the verse after it, the verse after it. If we go check how many verses about Jesus, you will die laughing. There are very few. They will say to you, there's a chapter called chapter Maryam, but the chapter is not about Maryam. There's only one statement about Maryam. <laughs> The Muslim, when they named chapters, they were looking for something unique and the chapter is not mentioned in the different place, supposedly. As an example, the chapter of the cow. Why it's called the chapter of the cow? Is that because Allah, he liked beef? Is that because he favored cows more than Muhammad? He, they call it the cow. It's not Allah who called it cow. This is the Muslim publication. All those names for chapters are not exist in the Quran. So they come with the names. And the cow is because Allah and the Musas, they have a story. What the story? Okay, uh, you know, there is a guy, a Jewish guy, he died, he was killed. And the Jews ask Musas, why you don't ask your God, Allah, to tell us who is the one who killed this guy? So Allah told Musas, go and get a cow slaughtered and certain kind of cow, not any cow. You know, it have to be virgin cow. <laughs> and they have to be like very sexy. Uh, certain color, etc. Uh, and then you take the beef of this cow and you hit the dead guy with it and the man, he will come back to life. Funny, stupid story. Why we need to beat somebody, he is killed by a dagger, by a cow. This is the Quran. The names of the Quran is coming from very silly, stupid stories, fiction stories. Nobody heard of them except Muhammad is getting them from the fairy tales, stories of the Jews. The Jews, they have stories they tell to their kids. And we find many of them, they are existing in the Talmud. And this donkey, whatever the Jews, they say to him, he take it, he put it in his Quran. Like the story of the ant. 